you often want to combine layers by combining the geometry, overlaying them on top of each other and creating new polygons where the lines and boundaries of the old polygons intersect. We show you here an example where we have this lakes buffer and this roads buffer. Now these are multi-part to single part converted features. We also have you add a column to these to the attribute table so that you can tell what, what geometry came from what we have you to the lakes add this insides lake buffer and to the roads we have you add this inside road buffer. Now we do that because when you do the combination you can't tell where a polygon came from that is was in the lakes or in the roads or in both and this is generally the case. So we have you add this inside road buff and inside lake buff before you do the union. Now you can find the union by searching for it here and it'll list union or you can know that it's in the analysis tools toolboxes analysis tools the overlay here in the union double left click and it's pretty straightforward you just list the features or the feature layers you want to overlay and give it an output and tell it to run when it's finished you get a new synthetic layer that shows the new polygons constructed from putting the um, lines and intersecting them. So now I can go ahead and select based on the values of the attributes. So I can go ahead and look at the attribute table to try and get just those areas that are inside the roads and inside the lakes. That's why we had you add these columns because they carry through for the polygons. And all the polygons, although they might be multi-part, have the same set of attributes for any one multi-part shape. They're all going to be either in lakes, in roads, or not, or in some combination. So here I'm going to go ahead then and do my selection by attributes. I'll close this and expand the table or the panel just a little bit. So I'm going to use this road lake union and do a new selection. I want to add a clause and I want to get the in roads equal to one, right, and add that. And then I'm going to add a clause where I want the in lakes equal to one. That's why I added these columns in the original one, because these are in roads and these are in lakes are the things I want, the pieces or polygons I want. Now I can take a look once I execute that accept that <laughs> selection and see that, yeah, I'm getting these pieces inside. And so now I want to right click and down below, go to the data, which is off the screen and export features and export these to a new place. So I'm going to export these to just, I'll call these my output. All right. Canned area one, something like that. And so run and now I have a new data layer that's my these candidate area one that these are the subset I want. So again, union, selection, and export pulls these areas out. 